Welcome to my channel, where we explore the principles of success and personal development. Today, we're diving into one of the most powerful chapters from Napoleon Hill's classic book, Think and Grow Rich. Chapter 2. Desire. The starting point of all achievement. Let's unpack the profound wisdom contained in these pages. A long time ago, a great warrior faced a situation that required a decision to ensure success on the battlefield. He was about to send his armies against a powerful foe, whose men outnumbered his own. He loaded his soldiers into boats, sailed to the enemy's country, unloaded soldiers and equipment, then gave the order to burn the ships that had carried them. Addressing his men before the first battle, he said, You see the boats going up in smoke. That means that we cannot leave these shores alive unless we win. We now have no choice. We win or we perish. They won. That burning desire to win, with no option of retreat, led to their victory. Hill emphasizes that every successful person must be willing to burn their ships and cut all sources of retreat. Only then can one maintain a burning desire to succeed. After the Great Chicago Fire, a group of merchants stood on State Street, looking at the smoking remains of what had been their stores. They went into a conference to decide if they would try to rebuild or leave Chicago and start over in a more promising section of the country. They reached a decision, all except one, to leave Chicago. The merchant who decided to stay and rebuild pointed a finger at the remains of his store and said, Gentlemen, on that very spot I will build the world's greatest store, no matter how many times it may burn down. Today, that store stands as a testament to the power of a burning desire. Fields' decision to stay and rebuild highlights the difference between those who succeed and those who fail. Hill teaches us that wishing for success is not enough. True success requires a burning desire, a clear goal, and persistent effort. Here's Hill's method to transform desire into its financial equivalent, summarized in six practical steps. 1. Fix in your mind the exact amount of money you desire. It's crucial to be precise about the amount of money you want to achieve. Instead of saying, I want to be rich, or I want a lot of money, stake a clear, exact figure. For example, I want to earn $100,000 by the end of next year. A specific goal gives your mind a clear target to aim for and helps you develop a focused plan to achieve it. It also allows you to measure your progress effectively. 2. Determine what you intend to give in return for the money you desire. Understand that in order to receive something, you must give something in return. This could be your time, skills, products, or services. For instance, you might decide to provide consulting services, sell a product, or offer a particular skill in exchange for the money you want to earn, avoiding something for nothing mentality. This step emphasizes that success doesn't come from wishing or expecting a handout. It requires a commitment to contribute something of value. Three. Establish a definite date when you intend to possess the money you desire. Decide on a specific date by which you aim to achieve your financial goal. For example, I will earn $100,000 by December 31, 2025. Creating urgency. A deadline creates a sense of urgency and helps you stay focused and motivated. It also enables you to track your progress and adjust your actions as needed to stay on course. 4. Create a definite plan for carrying out your desire and begin at once, whether you are ready or not. Action-oriented planning. Develop a clear, actionable plan detailing how you will achieve your financial goal. Break down the plan into manageable steps and start working on it immediately. Don't wait for perfect conditions or complete readiness. Taking immediate action is crucial. The momentum generated by starting can help overcome initial inertia and build confidence. 5. Write out a clear, concise statement of the amount of money you intend to acquire, the time limit, what you will give in return, and your plan. 
Write down your financial goal, the deadline, what you will offer in exchange, and the steps in your plan. For example, I will earn $100,000 by December 31, 2025, by offering consulting services in digital marketing. My plan involves networking, advertising, and improving my skills. Writing it down makes your goal tangible and solidifies your commitment. It serves as a constant reminder of what you're working towards. 6. Read your written statement aloud, twice daily. Visualize and believe you already possess the money, daily affirmation. Read your written goal statement out loud every morning and evening. This helps reinforce your commitment and keeps your goal at the forefront of your mind. As you read your statement, visualize yourself already having the money. Feel the emotions associated with achieving your goal. This practice helps program your subconscious mind to support your efforts and maintain your motivation. This process may seem simple, but it's profoundly effective. The more you visualize and believe, the more your subconscious mind works towards making it a reality. This is where a burning desire comes to your aid. You see, you can never have riches in great quantities unless you can work yourself into a white heat of desire for money and actually be a lie you will possess it. Remember, every person who wins in any undertaking must be willing to burn their ships and cut all sources of retreat. Only by doing so can you maintain the burning desire to win, which is essential to success. So, take these steps to heart. Start today by defining your desires, creating your plans, and persistently working towards your goals. Now let's explore some examples and further insights from this chapter to solidify our understanding. Hill shares the story of Edwin C. Barnes, who desired to work with Thomas Edison. Barnes didn't just wish for it, he decided with conviction. He made up his mind that he would become Edison's associate, no matter how long it took or what obstacles he faced. This burning desire drove him to take a train to Edison's office, despite having no money and no influence. Edison later described him as the partner who would come in through the door of desire. Barnes didn't become Edison's partner immediately. He started with menial work, but his burning desire and determination kept him going. Eventually, he got the opportunity to prove his worth, leading to a successful partnership with Edison. This story exemplifies the power of a burning desire, persistence, and unwavering faith in achieving one's goals. Remember, wishing will not bring riches. But desiring riches with a state of mind that becomes an obsession, planning definite ways and means to acquire riches, and backing those plans with persistence which does not recognize failure, will bring riches. In summary, the core message of Chapter 2 is that intense, focused desire is the foundation of all achievement. Here's a quick recap of the six steps to transmute desire into financial success. 1. Fix in your mind the exact amount of money you desire. 2. Determine what you intend to give in return for the money you desire. 3. Establish a definite date when you intend to possess the money you desire. 4. Create a definite plan for carrying out your desire and begin at once. 5. Write out a clear, concise statement of the amount of money you intend to acquire, the time limit, what you will give in return, and your plan. 6. Read your written statement aloud, twice daily. By following these steps and maintaining a burning desire, you can overcome any obstacle and achieve your goals. So, start today. Define your desires, create your plans, and persistently work towards them. Thank you for joining us in this exploration of Napoleon Hill's Think and Grow Rich, Chapter 2. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more insights on achieving success. Remember, it all starts with a burning desire. See you in the next video.